the um, laurea magistrale in genetics and molecular biology and my course is on the molecular biology of stem cells. I am teaching a course uh, on regulation of the cell cycle. The course has always been offered in English. It used to be one of the three courses that were taught in English and now there is an entire English channel. In the uh, course of uh, molecular biology of the uh, model system, the students will have the unique opportunity of comparing important and basic uh, developmental uh, process among uh, different uh, species and different model systems. The course on gene expression regulation in eukaryotes focuses on the study of the molecular mechanisms which control gene expression and in turn our gene expression controls important processes like cell growth, differentiation, development. So I'm teaching gene therapy uh, since uh, 10 years uh, in, uh, in the course of biology and since uh, a shorter time in English. Hit that job, Jack, pull it, plug it, plug it back. Time and time, which point no man, then ain't got time to keep your head. The fact that until a few years ago we thought that the complexity of higher eukaryotes was due to a large increase in the number of protein coding genes. Instead, recent transcriptome analysis in a large variety of organisms has indicated that we have more or less the same number of genes that a single eukaryote has. Gene therapy has evolved in the last 15 years as uh, an area of, uh, which links, I would say, uh, clinicians and biologists, so it is specifically interesting uh, for uh, the students because it uh, uh, goes from the cell biology, the molecular biology, which is the basis of their studies, to the idea of using the tools uh, that they learn in biology and molecular biology for therapy of uh, human diseases. As I already said, we have a particular focus on stem cell in our laboratory, but plant stem cell, because we think they have uh, amazing uh, characteristics. So, uh, they can regenerate themselves for an incredible long time and they survive post-embryonically, so this allows a plant to uh, continuously regenerate organs. So we use plants as a reference point uh, for then uh, comparing how they adapted and how they solved some problem uh, and, and we co will compare uh, their activity uh, towards other model systems such as uh, uh, C. elegans, uh, zebrafish uh, and the mouse. And during my course uh, what I try to teach the student is uh, the uh, basic biology of, uh, of this uh, particular kind of cells. So what are stem cells, uh, which is their developmental potential, how can uh, we uh, use them by knowing uh, what they are and uh, the molecular the molecular basis of the stemness. The scope of the course is really to help the students to integrate concepts that they have acquired in the course and in other courses. And so the um, basically I could say the cell cycle is a basic, it's a fundamental process in the life of every organism. It is the process through which a oocyte eventually develops into a whole organism by um, dividing and replicating itself. The student will have the opportunity of um, doing also cell-specific uh, analysis of gene expression uh, by doing cell, single cell uh, macroarray analysis. Gene therapy and now I would say also genome editing which is a spe specific evolution of the tools for the manipulation of the genome have been uh, uh, areas of uh, applied and basic research all over the world. Uh, you have uh, clinical trials uh, going on in France but also in England and of course you have a number of centers in the US. Uh, what is also interesting in gene therapy is the uh, 
uh, link uh, to stem cell biology because of course you have direct in vivo study of gene therapy. So students in my lab work on stem cells and on a particular kind of stem cells which is induced pluripotent stem cells. We have facilities for cell culturing and in particular some specific equipment that is necessary for uh, uh, IPS cells culturing, uh, maintenance and differentiation and also we are fully equipped for molecular biology so we have uh, real-time PCR machines, uh, uh, centrifuge and any kind of basic and advanced equipment for molecular biology analysis of the stem cells. Working in my lab uh, means um, um, learning how to manipulate, to differentiate, to culture, to derive IPS cells uh, and I hope in the future people that uh, work in my lab will uh, give a contribute to the cure of this uh, devastating disease that is ALS. A, a very innovative tendency now in the, the design of anti-cancer therapy is to exploit the errors that occur during the cell cycle to actually target those errors in, in a specific manner. And that is why it is now acquiring such a great importance. The students are invited to pick articles of their interest and read them critically and examine really what the biological problem is how it is addressed experimentally, what conclusions can be drawn, and they have to put their critical intelligence into that. So it's not just acquiring information, it's also learning to process information critically. Yeah.